what's new? I'm sorry, Kika. I just need to time process this. Well, I just finished solving one mystery, so I decided now was the best time to finish solving another one. I've had enough mysteries for one day. I think you'll like this one. Soul once claimed that you were the best for... For Ranger's huge tower player. I don't think I'd claim to be the best player, but I've rooted more than my fair share of enemy forces. Hee <laughs> hee, that sounds like a challenge. Are you saying you want to play a game with me? Play a game? No. I want to smash you weak little army and prove my dominance as a better gamer. This is about Fire Blast 2, isn't it? I'm not admitting I might have worked. I most certainly am not admitting you might know your way around games. I suppose I could teach you a few things. Ah, uh, this is funny. Little gamer banter. Like I care about your moral problems, let's head back to my room and get this fight on. Are you ready? I'm always ready to put another tick on my winning record. Warning, warning, warning. Emergency ship locked down procedures have been initialized. All members on the shelter are in place until further notice. What's that? Are you telling me that you never heard of the stupid alarm go off before? What sort of ship did you work on? I worked on a radar site, remember? Oh, I fully forgot about this is your first ship hosting in the ELS. And that is? Do I have to explain everything to you? Fine, whatever. The emergency, the ELS is a system that allows the commander to put the entire ship on lockdown if there are suspected intruders aboard. On big ship, it just locks down the key decks and room. On small ships, like ours, it just locks everything down until the command officer or security team member can unlock it. Then what are we doing sitting around? If there's an intruder on board, we need to go get help. Stop getting so excited. The system was buggy before the bad crystal messed up our systems. Then we're calling up the bridge to confirm it. Give me your data pad. You can't just enjoy free time play games, can you? Oh, I take the data pad from our punch in the bridge frequency of a glacier moving through the insides of the internet connect. Bridge reporting, Alex, Natalie, something wrong. False alarm, Major Pook seal. We're moving on getting it disconnected. It should be an hour or so. Okay, keep me informed. It's going to take longer. We'll do. Bridge out. See, that conversation didn't seem weird to you. Why would it take an hour to get the commander to disengage the system? Probably because the system is locked up, idiot. I'm not sure about this. Great, now Sol is trying to bother me. What do you want... Do you want to take his call? Sure. I hit the red connect button on the screen, but nothing happens. A second later, the call from Soul drops from her pad. I guess he didn't want to talk to us that bad. Good, I wasn't in the mood to be called a house cat. Hit the recall button on the tab. Soul isn't the type to randomly drop calls with all reads. Something must be going on, but he isn't responding now either. All I hear is usual beep, 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 but when the call is trying to connect, the receiver is pick up. Does data pad die mid, mid call, or did something prevent him from getting the message across? <sighs> Look, are we going to play games and you just kind of start blankly at the screen? Is there really nothing more than this? Are you really trying to get out playing against anybody? I don't care. Just say so. I mean, try calling Zuri. If something's wrong, she should know. She can also get past locked doors and join us. I'd rather play with just us. That's sweet. Not because I like you, idiot. I don't know Zuri's frequency, do you? Why would I want to tell you that information? I got enough fighting practice when she used to live with me. Well, there goes that option. Let's look for a way out. There has to be a way out of here. Fine, I didn't want to play games with you. I'm sorry, Kika. Kika, I want to play with you more than anything right now. I just want to make sure we're safe. Whatever. If anything happens to Faye or myself, would you feel bad right now? You do care about us. I know Faye is my friend. I don't know if you are right now. With Kylie out there, I'm just a little paranoid. There isn't another any way out here except for the vents between the roofs. There's no way of us are going to fit through those. My new data pad doesn't have any of my decryption software either. No real way to hack the door. Ugh, all of this is pointless. Oh, Kylie! Major, I'm so sorry. See, I told you the security lockdown wasn't the serious and unsecured across another door. I guess I should have tried the door. It's my fault. Why it's your fault? He promised me that nobody was going to get hurt. He promised me. I knew it. I knew something bad was going to happen. There was pride things. Uh, who was hurt? I'm gonna stop it here. I will see y'all guys here. Ah ha ha! I'm so funny. Guess what? My microphone was not on. Oh my god, where was I at? And there's something else. Who's hurt? He killed her. He said I just had to distract her, that nothing bad was going to happen. Who the hell did you kill? Dot dot dot. If he so much as laid a finger on Faye, I'll end both of you. It's not my fault. 
Just because you didn't deal the finishing blow did, doesn't make you clean. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't bring people back to life, you monster. I'm sorry. We don't have time to be giving life lessons. Who did the colonel kill? Commander Rasuna was guarding the door. I was supposed to just pull her away from it while he escaped. She, tr oh man, Rasuna's dead. I mean, I, she died in the first playthrough, so I'm sorry. Stop it. We must be able. We might all be sorry in a bit. At least the commander was able to lock down everything from the bridge if we're just safe from attack. The commander didn't do that, did she? He's in the he's in the bridge right now. I would I wouldn't give him control of the life support equipment, so he's threatening Soul to get them. He's trying to suffocate us all again. Creativity was never his strong point. Creativity might not be his strong point, but the method would have been effective if Kylie hadn't let us out. The bastard is again trying to remove us without direct confrontation. <sighs> I never did like Stan. Stan is such a douchebag. God, I don't like Stan. Why not? Wouldn't it have made it more sense to just kill Rusuna, break the lab, steal the crystal, and then bring in the Ralton ships? Is he not working for them? Who the hell is he working for? The ship. That's why we have to die. He wants the ship intact. You have to stop him. He could take Kylie and send Zuri to the bridge. I'm heading there now. You better not get yourself shot until she gets there. I won't. Now hurry. Oh, this is going to be fun. Zuri! Hi! Oh, I'm so glad to see you! Zuri, I'm so, oh, <laughs> I'm so glad to see you! <laughs> we exchanged a brief hug and the quick physical reassurance that the other was just fine. Commander, well, she never liked me anyway. I'll never be able to let her see that Sith aren't demonic monsters. Da -da -da -da! Off to the bridge we go! With the utmost delicacy, we slowly creep into the bridge. Nobody was paying any attention to the door. Alphonse is stone-faced in his cold pilot seat. Soul knocked down in front of the navigation system. I'm not going to ask you again. Hand over the command to the console. Come on, we need to get closer. <clears throat> Hand over the cold now. Do you want to end up the same way the commander... As shipmaster, you must understand that I am unable to surrender the ship to, to end mutiny. Do you want to die? Is that it? You kill me, you can't change the course or regain control of the security systems. You're not stupid enough to try, mongrel. Do you know what awaits all of the destinations, you fool? Give me the ship and the crystal, and maybe we'll murder on the grind scale. Lies. We've done nothing wrong. You're a f well, I guess I will be murderer when I kill you. The only person who is going to die is you, should you not surrender. And we are at an impasse. You arrogant racist prick. Zuri, we need to do something. You're right, as, as mean as he is to me, I don't want Soul to die. Besides, he's your friend, I don't want to see you cry. Thanks, Zuri. Fine, you don't want to talk, how about I give you some proper motivation? Sam pulls a gun away from Soul and levels straight towards my hiding spot. Crap, I would be saying the same thing. How about I kill your little crush? Maybe we'd be a little more deceptive then. Move! My body feels like it was hit with a train when Zuri grabs me and dives to cover of the navigator console. I can hear the telling ring of a near miss from the shots fired at us, followed by a cry of pain from Zuri. Hatred, anger ripped through my heart and ferocity. But this is all stuff I've gone through, but I can't skip it. I hear a meaty thud, followed by the clank of metal hitting metal. I glance out of the cover for a second to see Soul on top of Stan, fist swinging. Not knowing what sort of state Zuri was in, I know that I'm going to have to leap in action. The pistol is mere feet away from me in my hands a second later. Freeze! The pair of fires stop struggling. Soul pulls away from the fearful stand. Zuri, are you all right? Yeah, he just grazed my tail. The doctor's a bad shot. All I've ever tried to do, Natalie, is help protect everyone. Don't you see where this madness is taking you? A warrior of Katagia is dead because of you. I'm the one who has Rasuna's blood on my hands. I never should have let anyone other than myself guard you. Protecting the crystal, protecting your little girlfriend. Watch out, Natalie. Kylie's still out there. She's the one who let us out. She understood what sort of monster you were, Colonel. Ah, busted! Was it you? Was it you who broke my data pad? Destroy my research chair and all those hours put into the, the Vicount Tales? What's that? An awesome RP game. There's more than just puzzle games? Now is not the time! You care more about your games than the people of the universe. I level the gun perfectly between his eyes. Perhaps... Who have you been working with? I somehow doubt it was the Raltons. Perceptive. My employer offered me a very lucrative deal to thwart your operations. Money is nothing but expletive sins of mortals. And what you are willing to do in the service of spirits? Ha ha. How much money is worth to sell out your nation, you horned devil? Enough that we could live as kings and queens on our planet. Wouldn't that be perfect? You could trade the crystal away for money that you never would have dreamed of. 
We are warriors. We don't compromise our honor to protect the innocent for personal gain. <sighs> we are professionals. We do our duty. Something you never quite understood. <laughs> I'll stop. Pardon me for a second while I shove a watermelon jelly rancher into my gob. Mmm, delicioso. I think you will. I think this ends here. Do you think I've made it this far without help? If I go down, you're all going down with me. Oh, shut up. And now you're proving just how stupid you are. What do you mean? Do you think after you tried to kill us several times that we're going to let you walk away after you nearly killed Faye? Nearly killed? Oh no, your precious wolf isn't going to survive a month. Her internal organs are already tearing themselves apart. Oh? She's good as dead. Kika. Yeah! From her hiding spot placed outside the door, Kika sprints in bearing a box knife from the supplies room. The blade is pointed out. She's already neutralized. She's already... She's ready to neutralize this threat to her friends. Barely managed to grab her wrist before she tries to sprint around me. Let me kill him. You can't attack my minions and get away with it. You tried to kill Natalie. I can't forgive you. Uh, the useless one talks. The leech of the group. You're just an asshole, Stan. I really do not like you. Don't listen to him, Zuri. All you can ever do is survive under the protection of your betters. <sighs> Why don't you take the weapon away from the major and I'll show you who the better one is? Drop dead. I can fix that. All of your crimes you committed, nobody would put you in danger from the start. If I let him go, he'll probably escape just again. I can end the smuggling as villainy right here, right now, and ensure no one ever poses a threat to dictatorship again. Soul, for face sake, kill the bastard. Zuri, he tried to kill you. I can't forgive that, but... Mm. I don't need to ask your opinion, Kika. Eye for an eye. Okay, enough of this charade. Lock me up back up again. What charade? Today you pay for your crimes. I am unarmed and have surrendered. You cannot do it. Isn't this a way to try to bring suspects into life? I know more, but I'm not talking. We'll get it from Kylie. Stop this. Stop this madness, Zuri. You know this is wrong. Didn't you swear to protect the weak? How can I be weaker? Finish him, Natalie. End this. You know what? I shot him in the very first playthrough. I'm going to spare you this time. There's only one way to make sure you see justice. Wait, please, I don't want to die. Neither does Captain Moonfollow. Please. That's why you're going to be held for treason in the capital. Let them send you to hell for your, for your, so, for you so, blah, 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 blah. What? Natalie? I don't want this worthless bl man's blood on my hands. Consider yourself lucky, Colonel, that Natalie's a better person than I. Let's take him back to his room, Zuri. Okay! So, could you take ownership of what the demonic committed? Certainly. I'll take the body back to the engineering bay until we can get the proper honor guard here. So, I wish he hadn't killed her. I wish the same. <clears throat> when the courts judge what you've done here today, you'll wish you had died out in space. You would have died right alongside me. Would I? Yeah, because nobody would have left, the s left to stop me from ending your miserable existence. Your buddies wouldn't have arrived in time to save you. I'm ready to return to my room. All secure, idiot. We'll never get another chance to ensure but he gets what he deserves. He tried to take everything away from me. He tried to take all my friends. He doesn't deserve anything more than death. Everything is okay now, Kika. Nothing is okay now because of Faye. We're on our way home. Once we get there, once we get there, then what? Do I just hand, hand over the doctor, give my report, and then just... I don't even know what comes after that point. Life, life is so strange, isn't it? The more we make sense of the puzzle, the less you understand why you're putting it together. That was a really good quote. I like that. Life is so strange, isn't it? The more you make sense of the puzzle, the less you understand why you're putting it together. Huh. I like that. Fame and glory was what I started out seeking, but I don't know anymore. When I was little, my parents were never around. They were always off doing this diplomatic mission or the public greeting. I never saw them much. Instead, I had tutors who wanted to help me help mold me into the best leader the galaxy needed. That's all I ever knew and all I ever wanted. Then one day, after a rally for my parent and father's party, we were talking to the next party when my father stopped in front of an ice cream parlor. I'd never had ice cream before. The dietitians told me it was bad for my health and never let me have any. What flavor did you try? Butter pecan. It was like pure violet in my mouth. You should have tried chocolate. That's what my mother said. <clears throat> it's true. 
but seeing my family happy, seeing what normal kids got to enjoy, I started wondering if there was other stupid things that would bring me happiness despite their apparent worthlessness. It was when I went to the academy that I discovered something else that was harmful for my health, but something more, so, but something that enticed me. Friends. All people want from others is what they can take. Caring for others is an exploitable weakness you can't have. But having people you want to make happy makes the victory all the more sweet. I realized that I wanted a few friends who liked me for me. People like Faye and you. I mean, you're an idiot, but you're nice. But you're a nice idiot to have around. You understand my genius. Yeah, whatever. I'm not sure if I should be happy that Kika sees me as a lovable idiot, but I feel the same. Having someone who understands you has been nice. A rival, sure, but a rival you can trust. That's why I had to do everything to protect them. That's why Stan needed to die. He'll get away. I know he has friends who will get him off. He'll come back after you, and when you hand over the crystal, he'll find a way to get his hands on it, and everything will be for nothing. We won't allow that to happen. But that's the golden rule. Whoever has the gold makes the rules. You've got the gold. You can counter him. Maybe. I do. I don't know what the future holds for us, but I promise you, as a Sito, I'll protect everyone. Oh, she's crying. I love it when Kika cries. You need to go tell Faye what happened. None of my minions should be in the dark. Sure, let's go see her. Receiving tractor beam light signals from the KSS Carpenter. They want to drag us back into the station. Granted, it's over. We made it. The spirits have shown us the way home from our endeavor. It's like we were going to die out there. One of us did, Kika. Aww. Stow it, Lieutenant Star. Prepare us for docking. With what working boosters? I don't know. Look productive. We made it back. Soon, I will have to reestablish contact with command and tell them what happened. I'll have to hand over the key. Zuri's fears still haunt me. The rock indirectly leads to the death of Commander Rasuna. How many more deaths will it lead to before everything is done? Zuri keeps glancing at me with worried eyes. Even though she isn't saying it, I know the worries run through her mind. The warrior wants it smashed into a billion pieces. But... I am an officer of the Katajian Dictatorship. I have to take responsibility for the mission. Nat, we need to talk. Stop trying to talk her out of it. I just don't want to risk letting those with the wrong hands take it from us. We know. You don't like this either, Sol. Why aren't you being a little more vocal about it with me? Because you're vocal enough for two of us, lizard brain. Natalie knows my feelings on the matter. She doesn't need to keep hearing them. I don't know what I should do. Well, you have roughly five minutes before they pull us in, and another 30 for them to replace our outbound com communications crystal. Nat, I just want to say one last. I just want to say one last thing. I put my faith and trust in you when everything looked dark and bleak. If you trusted me, if you trusted me, you'd do the same. Talk about pulling out the heavy guilt hit. Those pleading eyes are looking for reassurance and bond between us. What do I do? What can I do? I'm going back to my room for a moment. I'll send Kika to retrieve you when we get docked up. Why me? Because I have to st start getting the maintenance team working and the honor guard ready for Rasuna. Not having radios is making this a challenge. Whatever. Nat, aw. Nat, I love you. Please be the warrior I know you are. Zuri, I need to go. Aw. Nat, I love you. My feet, unguided by my lost brain, take me to the side of my biggest folly. Just a few distance days ago, I put us heartbeats away from death. In the corner, covered by a clean black sheet, is the body of Vice Captain Commander Rasuna. I guess she would be the first casualty of my actions. Pulling myself into the engine, I see a small crystal that has caused so much pain. It's hard to imagine that such a small, sparkly rock can do so much damage. Kika's translation was correct. It isn't even worse... It isn't even the worst piece of it. Out there is something that could do indefinite, in, infinitely more damage. Zuri is right. Nobody should have this sort of power. Power corrupts, especially ill-gained power. Though I trust my leaders to make the right decision, that body in the corner tells me more. Everyone thinks that they're going to do the right thing. Everyone thinks that what they're doing is for the good of those they represent. Is it my place to play judge? All I am is a major of the Space Force. I'm not a dick... Dictator in uh, the, 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 the. I'm not a dictator in charge of one of those 15 sectors. I'm not an admiral of the fleet. I'm just a sito. 
If I don't hand this dark crystal over, I'm no different than Stan. Am I no different than Stan? If I don't follow my own laws, am I nothing more than a traitor myself? But is doing the right thing worth taking the branding? The ship jostles as we make contact with the extension arm of the station. I'm out of town. I need to resolve my indecisions and make a necessary choice. Ah! Uh. Uh, hand it over to command. I'm sorry, Azuri, but when I took an oath to support and defend my dictatorship, I also swore to follow my superior's orders. They want this crystal. I have to trust them to do the right thing with it. Besides, I need to put my I need to put up my own feelings failings on this operation. If I can come straight with command, and perhaps it won't be too hard on me. I did complete my objective and discovered the risk of the universe. That has to count for something, right? My dream of becoming an admiral might still be able to come true. I'll convince Zuri to see it my way after I file my report. She'll understand. I'm sure of it. She saw the light when we had to use it for the engine. I'm sure she'll understand now. I feel a pang of guilt as I walk past the commander. But like her, I've made my choice and won't back down. Oh, there you are. Sorry, I just wanted to look at the crystal again. Uh Uh-huh, did you make up your mind? I'm going back to my lab to wait for the radios to come back up. Filing the report and the crystal. I knew it. You knew I'd do it? Of course, no matter what Zuri thinks, she don't... You don't have the power alone to fight back. A major can't do anything by herself, but with the rest of the Sittos, you stand a chance. Relying on the chain of command is difficult sometimes, but I knew you still believed in the Force. Yeah, we're soldiers. We don't just circumvent... Well, I apparently can't read today. We don't just circumvent the chain because we think we know better. Exactly. That's how we end up with lawlessness. I hope Zuri understands. She's far too set in her ways to understand the rugged individualism doesn't get places in the military. Do you think she will forgive me? After begging you to put the same trust in her that she, she put in you, what do you think? She said she cared for me. She wouldn't turn away so easily. If you violate anything she stands for, how naive are you? Still, you are doing the right thing. Don't let her get to you. Oh, and don't forget to mention my role in this. You better not steal all the glory. And there's Kika being Kika. I won't. I'll be honest and detailed in my report to command. I did have to make a few liberties with you and with your written report, but it was overall acceptable to my taste. I'm not surprised you still haven't developed any respect for your superior's things. I have to be sure. You might have tried to take all the ac- ac- accolades that's sure to come for us in this discovery. Trust command. Don't you trust, but don't trust me. Trust nobody where your power is concerned. She's got a point. I'm going to get some food on the station. I've had enough of this steel, too, for a long time. Goodbye, Kika. Good luck, Natalie. Good luck, indeed. Colonel Pitterman. You did a good job out there, Major Pook Seal. You rose to the occasion, and we are impressed with your first true assignment. Thank you, sir. After an hour of explaining everything, Colonel Pitterman finally says the words that sweep the fear from my mind. Good job. Many of us thought that your idealism and independence were unfitting for the Special Tactics and Investigations Officer, but I'm proud to say you rose to the occasion. Sir? Never mind, Major, never mind. We'll dispatch Kilo Team to continue your investigation. Kilo Team? The Elites? That's right. If the Ralsons are attempting to find this weapon, we have to beat them to the punch. They get it. They get the dangers. I have I have to struggle to keep back the tears of job. Of joy. Oh, my gosh. Joy. Oh, there's been so many spelling mistakes in here that have caught me off guard. What about me, sir? Why pull our new rising star off the case? I'm lining up a shuttle to bring you back to Central Command to debrief the board of directors before we send you back out. The board? Clean yourself up, Natalie. You're going to meet some of the most influential men and women in the galaxy. What about the Nimroth? Let Fleet Commander take care of them. They'll probably return to chasing local pirates and like you. And the like. But you, you've got bigger fish to fry. Thank you, sir. That's all. Stand by on Duster Station for further orders. Sir. The communication line flashes red as the console disconnects. They aren't blaming me for Rasuna's death. They think I did the right thing. Yay! I get to work with one of the best Sito teams and chase after the remaining pieces of the device. Everything works for the best. I can tell the board of, dir- I can tell the board of directors just how dangerous this thing is. They'll have to listen to me and destroy it. We can do all the right things now with official backing. I'm almost skipping as I step out of my lab. I'm so high on success that I almost don't even notice Zuri glaring at me in the hallway. <clears throat> hey, Zuri, Commander believes us. Nobody's getting in trouble. Colonel Nelson's getting arrested, and I get to debrief the board of directors on this. 
Zuri, we still get to do the right thing. No, you already did the wrong thing. We can't fight against the government. We don't have the power. A real warrior doesn't care about power. Power. They fight for the right anyway. We needed help. We, what we, there's just you, Nat. They're dispatching some of the best Sittos in the universe to help me locate the other pieces. Why aren't you happy? Happy? Happy that a bunch of people you don't know if you can trust are helping you? Happy that you sided with the people who only see you as a valuable, as what you deliver? Happy that you just sold out the universe? No, I'm not happy. I thought you knew the right from wrong. I thought you'd know when you'd keep struggling and had to get help. I thought I was help enough. I thought we made a good team. We do, but a dreaming lieutenant isn't fully as useful as your friends on the board. You're just like me, Nat. You aren't a warrior yet. <clears throat> then why are you so mad? Because I thought you were at least trying to be one. I had faith in you. Then put it in me now. Just like you put faith in me? You can't just ask that of me. Do you know what would happen if I disobeyed them? You wouldn't have sold your soul for something you knew was wrong. You won't even understand, will you? Just like you won't understand why you have to sacrifice to do the right thing. I guess this is as far as our partnership goes. On oh, a sad day. I guess so. Zuri, you know I care a lot about you. This last month, please don't say it. I won't be able to hold back the tears. I don't like this, but I can't but I can't follow you on this road. But this is the only road I can walk. I had to do this. Natalie, stay safe, okay? I will. You stay safe as well. I will. With each step away, the aura of invul invulnerability I feel slips away. Each step is like walking further into a minefield of pain and heartache. But I had to do what was right. Maybe one day I can be, as in be the independent warrior that Suri wishes I was. But today is not the day. Someday... Oh, excuse me. No, oh, excuse me. When I had the power to take make the right thing make things right, I will show her my path was not wrong. I'll hear her songs radiate through the Emerald City and know we were both right. Until then, I need to keep walking, even if it means I have to return this path alone. Ending four, the only road I can walk. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna skip a bunch of stuff because I want to figure out. If there's, I'm sure there's one more ending. I want to figure out what it is. Keep going. I'm going to let Stan survive. Doop-a-doop-a-doop. -doop -doop. See you in a minute.